Moving to a new city can be both thrilling and daunting. The possibilities seem endless, but where do you even begin? It's like searching for a needle in a haystack, hoping to find that perfect place that resonates with your soul. I was there in 2020, like so many other people wanting to make a change. So in 2021, while in my mid-30s and at the height of my real estate career, I made that decision and moved from the San Francisco Bay Area to San Diego. I left my already established eight-year career in real estate to come home to San Diego and have to restart my career and build new friendships, but more importantly, have faith and trust in myself while doing it. The next decision was then, where in San Diego? This isn't just a story about why I chose to live in Little Italy. My channel is geared towards teaching people all about the various neighborhoods and the overall lifestyle here in San Diego, but I wanted to do something a bit different this time. This is going to be a testament to the power of exploration and stepping outside of our comfort zones. And of course, I'm going to be talking about why I specifically chose Little Italy San Diego to be my next home. 2020 had its share of challenges and disruptions to our lives, but it also forced us to confront our priorities and to really reflect on what truly mattered. It compelled us to slow down, spend more time with ourselves in, in order to explore our inner selves more deeply. We were forced into isolation. We faced uncertainty and lost, and we were confronted with the fragility of life and the importance of our relationships, of our health and our well-being. This collection of experiences encouraged many people to reevaluate their career paths and take a deeper look into their relationships. And for many, it meant looking at their existing home or the city that they lived in and making the bold decision to change their surroundings completely. For me personally, I took a deep look into all of the above and decided that it was time to make a move. I grew up in Southern California, but I never thought I would move back. Not, not a second thought, really. So I originally played with the idea of moving out of state, but being a licensed realtor, I knew that in order to sell real estate outside of California, I would have to go through the entire licensing process all over again, and that was not something I was looking forward to doing. I also knew that there were certain things about California that I couldn't get in another state, things that really truly make me happy. Now those things can change at any moment, but at that time and at this time in my life, still not ready to give those up. So without another thought, it was easily decided that I'd be moving to San Diego. Plus, I would also be moving back home to be closer to family, which is always a plus, especially for me personally, I was away from home for nine years or so. So deciding on where to live in San Diego, that came next. I knew two things. I wanted to live in a walkable area and I wanted to live near the coast. I am single and I'm in my mid thirties and I still enjoy going out and being close to everything. And I especially like high rise condo style living. I am in no hurry to take care of a yard and a house at this stage of my life. Trust me, being a full-time realtor and producing weekly content forces me to pick and choose what I do in my spare time wisely. So knowing I wanted to live in a walkable area, close to the water, surrounded by people and things to do, my decision came extremely easy. Without a second thought, I knew it was going to be Little Italy, and I'll tell you why. Little Italy is located in the northern part of the downtown area of San Diego. When thinking about downtown San Diego, a lot of people reference the Gaslamp District. That's where Petco Park is, it's where all the clubs and bars are at. Well, you have the gas lamp and just one mile north is Little Italy, which has completely different energy. 
For one, it brings in an older crowd. It is more centered around dining as opposed to the bar and club scene. So people will travel here from all over to go out to dinner and maybe grab a drink afterwards at Kettner Exchange or heading upstairs at Born and Raised for a killer skyline view. But after about 10 or 11 p.m., it's quiet. You won't find hot dog street vendors waiting for you to get out of the clubs at 2 a.m. That's not here. The average age is 35, which is right up my alley. It's mostly made up of singles or couples in their mid 30s. There are also tons of dogs. It's like, don't have a kid? Sure, but you most likely have a dog. I like to think of it as the millennial capital of San Diego. Really, it's exactly where you'll find us. There's this huge farmer's market every Saturday, and there's one on Wednesdays as well, which is much smaller, and it's mostly done for the residents. I remember when I first moved here, I went to the Saturday's farmer's market at noon, which was mistake number one. I was surprised at first because of how many vendors and just how big of a crowd it brought. It was actually really cool to see, but I could hardly get through the crowd, especially having my pup on one hand. I could not navigate through the herd of people. So it was absolute chaos. So what I decided to do was go, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the one on Wednesday. Ha, nobody's gonna be there. Well, I did go to the one on Wednesday and it's about a quarter of the size of the one on Saturday, which is still great, but it's mostly made up of produce. So it's good to pop in and fill up on things in between. 2020 not only brought personal development or maybe updating your home address, but also a lot of hardship and with that, we have seen a massive difference in the number of people living on the streets. It is here, but you will not see tents or trash or a congregation of homeless uh, in Little Italy. They pretty much stay further south into the gas lamp in East Village. Now, that could change. I really hope it doesn't. Um, if it does, I'll probably be forced to leave the area, but as it stands, I personally do not see it as a problem. You will see one here or there, but not nearly as bad as it is outside of these two square miles. Maybe I'm just immune to it from living in California my entire life, but it's become quite normal to see homelessness throughout the entire state. They are here, and unless you live in a gated community or up in the hills, they will be around. Since this area is a hot spot for tourism, it does get busy, especially on the weekends. People come down here to brunch, go to the farmer's market, um, just pretty much walk around. But the main areas where you'll have the bulk of people will be on India Street and Kettner Avenue, which are the two main streets with probably 90% of all the restaurants and shops are at. But aside from that, it's mainly pretty calm. You can walk down to Waterfront Park, which overlooks the bay. There are also tons of events at that park year round. So if you live here, it makes it pretty great because you can walk there instead of paying those gruesome Uber costs or paying for parking, which is pretty much a second mortgage these days. So if you go park in a parking garage and let's say near the beach, you're going to be spend, pay, uh, paying about $50 just to park for four hours. And I'm fairly certain it's the same in downtown, but I just never pay for parking down here. Location wise, it just makes sense, at least for me. It's a 10 minute drive to the nearest beach, whether that be Ocean Beach or Coronado, which both have dog beaches as well and me having a pup, it makes it very convenient for me. Um, or if you wanted to go to La Jolla or Pacific Beach, that's about a 15 minute drive. Now it is walkable, but you do still have to drive to run certain errands. Like there's not going to be a grocery store here. There are Italian markets, there's two, which I frequent often, especially when you're just needing an item or two throughout the week. But most people will either go to Hillcrest or Point Loma to do their weekly shopping. There's going to be Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, pretty much everything that you need 
is within a 10 minute drive. And then you also have the mall close by at Fashion Valley. There is Mission Bay right up the road, which me personally, I love because I love to bat paddle board. And so that's just three exits up the freeway and you're in, you're at Mission Bay, which people walk around Mission Bay, jog, ride their bikes. There's a bike path that goes all around Mission Bay. Little Italy is just in a great location. And no matter where you live at in Little Italy, it's really easy to get in and out of because there are going to be two freeway entrances. I just love the vibrancy and the energy of this neighborhood. There's this small town charm to it, but I also enjoy everything modern. You have the Mercado, which is where a lot of people gather. There's coffee shops as well. Although I do feel that we could use some more. There isn't a particular coffee shop that really stands out to me. The ones that I like, I have to drive through, but coffee is the least of my worries. <laughs> Aside from that, there are great restaurants. So there you go, especially if you love Italian like me, most of the restaurants here are Italian. And there's also really good nightlife and people watching. Who doesn't love that? It's just an overall hub for those looking to live in the heart of something. Of course, it is not for everyone, but if what I just outlined resonates with you, then it could be a great time to consider checking this area out. And if you're torn between wanting to move in the fear of starting over, well, I'm here to say something you've probably never heard before. If I could do it, you could do it too. Okay, yeah, I think we've all heard that one before, but it's true, right? I didn't just move, I rebuilt my entire business. Being a realtor is not an easy career path, and most people will stay put because changing locations means starting from square one. But to me, happiness was so much more important, and I was willing to sacrifice everything to make this move to San Diego, and it was the best decision I have ever made to date. So yes, I did it, and I know you can too. Maybe Little Italy doesn't speak to you, that's fine. Maybe you're relocating here for work, or have a spouse in the military that's being stationed out here, or maybe you're traveling solo and are looking to live as close to the beach as possible to live out your beach bum dreams, whatever it is. Know that there is no better time than now because tomorrow is not promised. I believe that the events of 2020 changed us for the better. It prompted us to delve deeper into our inner selves, to reevaluate our priorities, to discover what truly matters in life. It encouraged introspection and self-discovery, leading many individuals to make choices aligned with their true desires and aspirations. Simultaneously, the pandemic triggered a significant number of relocations, driven by factors such as remote work, a search for safer environments, and a desire to be closer to loved ones. Through these changes, we have grown individually individually and collectively, realizing the significance of personal fulfillment, meaningful connections, and overall well-being. This was my personal journey and why relocating to this amazing city, how it's fulfilled my life in unimaginable ways. It's said that changing your zip code doesn't change your problems, that your problems will follow you no matter where you live, but I disagree. The grass grows where you water it, but also needs light to grow. And sometimes all it takes, all you need, is a change of scenery and a fresh perspective. I am a realtor in the greater San Diego area and me and my team help people from all over the country relocate and invest in real estate. So whether you're looking to make a move now or you're just planning ahead for your future, know that you can give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email because we wanna help you make a smooth move to the best city in California where we do everything but the packing. And I'll leave you with this as I always do my friends and that is to stay classy, San Diego.